Hey, what can go wrong with plastic surgery? I'm gonna be talking about one of the complications with breast lift or breast reductions, something that can go wrong with the blood supply. Enjoy the video. I think a lot of times in plastic surgery, it's always the emphasis is put on before and after photos and you know more of a glamorous approach to plastic surgery and that you know that's important because that really is a part of plastic surgery where we're changing people's bodies and we're having before and afters and we're looking at really remarkable changes but there's also something that I want to talk about that's not talked about as often and that are some of the problems with plastic surgery that really brings up the topic about complications and when patients hear about complications it sounds like something went wrong something was done intentionally wrong or something was bad but as surgeons we look at complications as something that is possible to happen even if all of the precautions are normally taken and i want to talk about something called problems with healing at the triple point and this comes up when you do breast surgery specifically when i do a breast lift or breast reduction or removing an implant and doing a lift anytime i'm doing a major structural change to the breast there can be problems or complications it's not because something was done wrong during the surgery or an error was committed this is just something that can potentially happen because of the blood supply. And if you really think about a lot of times what plastic surgeons, what we're doing as our job, what we're doing is we're moving tissues, but we have to be careful about the blood supply. Same thing with the breast. When we're moving tissue on the breast, when we're reorganizing the breast to do a lift, we are doing it knowing where the blood supply is. But we also know that because we're cutting the tissue and we're moving the tissue around significantly, in a reasonable percentage of patient, there can be problems at some of the areas where the blood supply has been disturbed. So the triple point is present in two places on every time I do a breast reduction or do a full lift with an implant or just do a lift or if I remove an implant and do a lift, it's always the same operation and the same scar pattern just depends on whether I'm using an implant or not, etc. But the, the same problem exists, and this happens probably in about maybe 20% of patients. So I just wanted to kind of make a little video to explain this a little bit better as to why there are problems in these two areas. I'm gonna just talk about this one just to kind of demonstrate, but it can happen up here to a lesser degree. But this is what we call the, the triple point. And that is this point right here which is three points that have come together along this incision. And because I've made an incision here, and I've made an incision here and here, this triple point, as it were, right there, right here, has compromised blood supply. The blood supply is not as good as it normally is. So the blood supply typically comes in in this way and it also comes in from this side and it comes from down below. But what's happened now is this blood supply that was going over to help out this corner, this blood supply that was going over to help out this corner, can't get there now because this incision cuts this blood supply off and this incision cuts this blood supply off. So this poor little area right in here is relying only on blood supply that's coming in here. And it's the furthest away from the blood supply. So this area is the weakest blood supply there is in this side. The same thing happens over here. This area here relies on the blood supply coming in from here. This blood supply going to help out this corner is it can't it's stopped this incision stops it this blood supply little area is not able to be helped by this blood supply here because of this incision and so it sets up these areas here which have a weaker blood supply and then we ask them well you need to come together and you all need to heal together and we sometimes, as I said, in about 20% of patients, will have some healing here 
It's typically minor healing and it just heals on its own. I've never had to, in my career, reoperate here to do anything to fix anything. But because there's a wound that develops here, because when you lack the blood supply, the little skin on the edge here can die. And when that upper level of the skin dies, you're left with a wound. And that wound has to heal. It's not an infection. This is something that comes up all the time. And I understand people are not familiar with the process. They're not familiar with wounds. And so they will misinterpret this area as being an infection. But it's not an infection. It's just a problem with a weak blood supply. And so don't panic. If this happens to you, just allow it to heal. And it'll take about six weeks and this area will heal over. And then it'll be, this area will be fine but it's all related to the blood supply. We can get some of the same issues in this upper area, not as common to get it in this area, but this is the same phenomenon up here. It's a little different shape, but it's an arc from the areola and it's a line here. So you still have a weakness of blood supply here and here. The reason why this isn't as common to have problems here as it is here is because the areola has a really good blood supply. And so that kind of helps out this tissue over in this area. But that's it, that's the triple point. Hey, if you like this video, then uh, like my channel and subscribe. And then you'll be notified of future videos that are being produced in the future. I love making videos. The main focus of what I do on this channel is for education. I want patients to be informed before they have plastic surgery. Thank you so much.